So let me tell you guys. Two days ago, I was just scrolling through my Twitter and I was looking through moments and then I saw something about Jurassic World 2. So if you guys don't know, Jurassic World 2 is planned to release next year during the summer, so July 2018. And they finally released the first image of the movie. Now in the picture, it's just this girl with a, in a museum with a bunch of dinosaur fossils around her. And then in the center of this picture is a triceratops skull. I thought it was some sort of hybrid between a triceratops and a T-Rex. As soon as I thought it was a hybrid, I was just like, oh man, I wonder what this thing would look like. And I want kind of want to like, I kind of want to play with that idea. So I don't really have any idea what I'm gonna do yet, but I know I just want to play with this idea. Maybe I'll make a mask, I don't know, a drawing, a sculpture. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but I just want to like, I just want to create something and play with this idea of the whole T-Rex mixed with a Triceratops kind of thing. And the main thing that pointed out, that stood out to me was just like the enormous horns. Uh, I really want to play on this idea, or I just want to make something inspired off of this because it got me really hyped when I first saw it, even though later on I figured out it's not really what I wanted, wanted it to be. But we'll just play along with it. So I wanted to create something based off of this and I wanted to record it. So we'll see how this goes. As you guys may not know, I am a frequent moviegoer. Very frequent. And with every movie I see, I keep the ticket stub. No, the ticket stub, I keep and put it away. But, as a lot of you guys know, especially with Regal goers, that if you get from the machine box office, it gives you a bunch of different receipts that come in, like the ticket stub form. So basically all of, the, all of those that just fell. Mm, you know, the, especially like the blue ones. Stuff that looks like this, these bullet tickets, and they're just like a bunch of like receipts. When I have a lot of one thing, I kind of keep it because I might have something useful for it once I have a larger amount of it. Manage, and you know, it kind of fits with the whole like movie going theme and such. Um, yeah, check back with you guys when I have something to show you. Back again, okay, so I'll show you guys what I did. It's uh, been a couple days now, but that's what I have so far. You can just barely make that out. So what I did is I got the Bristol paper, I drew on it, and I kind of figured out that it wasn't really enough space for what I wanted. So I cut another Bristol paper in half and I connected it to, and I um, glued it on to the sides so that I can have room for so that I can have room for the the back part of the head. So, um, so if you guys can see, uh, that's what it looks like right now. And I added kind of kind of looks like more like a triceratops. But I added teeth to it and lots of parts in the middle right here. So, so now what I think I'm gonna do is that maybe I'm gonna like cut these parts right here so you don't see all these square backings right here.
Hey guys, it's Future Kathy editing this video right now. I had actually recorded two other updates before this one, but they both came back without audio because I didn't turn the mic on. So I wanted to share more with you guys, but unfortunately that happened and I was left without audio. So hope you guys forgive me for that. I'll try not to happen in the future and back to the video. Hello, back again. So it's been a while. It's been a while since I did the last update, but it is now. 7.55 on the 21st of May and uh, this is what I have done so far. Keep adding to what I think is necessary as I progress through the piece. So, and I knew I wanted to do something with the ticket stub so obviously uh, I started with that. I used the rubber cement for that and uh, and then I used my, uh, where are they? My Fine Tech Gold. These babies right here, the Fine Tech uh, Gold watercolors. And uh, I only used two kinds of different paints this time, so that's good, of the gold. I think I used the, which one? I definitely used the Arabic Gold as well as the Moon Gold, I think it is. This one right here. And I also use the multi-liners, a, a brush pen, um, what else? The dip, the G pen, I love this thing. Used one of these Toshikawa G pens. And uh, this white, this semi Signo Uniball. I need to buy another one of these. I'm, this one's just about out, so. Yeah, there it is. If you guys follow me on Snap, which I highly recommend, you do, you can kind of see my process in doing this. It's much easier to record on snap than it is to actually get my DSLR and shoot things. Oh, I also used uh, the Bombay India inks. Um, I used the terracotta, the yellow ochre, what else? The um, golden yellow, some of the sepia. And I don't think I used the turquoise. So yeah, those are the only ones I used. I also just used the regular multi-liner, so that's nothing new though. Now I'm gonna show you guys a closer look on this. Like I said before, a lot of these tickets aren't really for um, anything that I like, my favorite to anything, they just have stuff that are lying around. A lot of them are new, obviously, a lot of them are older, so just whatever I had laying around that wasn't part of my initial collection. And then I put a little, little gold outline on the side, if you can see it, like, you can't really see it until I, there you go, you can see the gold when I reflect it like that. Uh, the multi-liners I, I use, I thought they were waterproof. But it turns out, I guess they weren't, so uh, I I used a, a combination of the Mar Micron and the Uni Pen, so beware. These lines right here in the background, these are just different. The brown tones you see are just different washes from the inks. I have a, a lot of, I've done a lot of work with this G Pen. It's the Tashikawa one T40. The one with the blue grip, uh, I kind of stained it from the previous use I had with it. But it's, uh, I actually really, really like the G-Pen. I think it's very, very versatile and very flexible for whatever you want to do. When it comes to dip pens, I usually use either the G-Pen or the Crow Quill pens, but I think I kind of lean towards the G-Pens more because you just get such a variation of the line. I, I really like it, so uh, I kind of, I brushed on the ink and I drew it on using this, so. Collage all this with this, so that you guys know. Uh, rubber cement, I just use the Elmer's one. When it is dry, all the stuff that doesn't stick on, you can rub off. So kind of like here, if you can see, it's like, it's too small to actually focus on, but um, here, these, like these little 
those little black shits, you, those are from the, the leftovers from this thing, so. Yeah, guys, I really wanted to do another video. I just didn't know what about. Sometimes I think about a bunch of stuff to do a video on. Sometimes I completely forget or have no idea what to do on something that would be interesting. And I've been doing reviews and just uh, talk throughs a lot lately with my videos. But yeah, um, this backing is pretty much bristle. These are actually three sheets that are glued together. And then um, I cut that out and then I glued the sticker, the tickets on here rather. And then I went in with uh, the gold ink and just went from there. Definitely the longest part of this and most tedious was actually gluing the um, the ticket stubs because I did use the rubber cement. Uh, I was introduced to this in my 2D art class and the one assignment that we had to use this for, I fucking hated it. I failed at it. I think I got like a D or like an F on the project that we actually had to use this for. And it was actually like something that we had to do right here where we had to collage and just put a bunch of stuff. And I just hated it because we had to do it with magazine papers. And the ma magazine tape was so thin it didn't really take this too well. And it would like rub off a lot of the color that was on there and just deteriorate the paper. But I don't know, I just kind of wanted to like, not necessarily work with this again, but just kind of do something like a collage. I love how collages look um, when they're done right. So, and I kind of, I think I did a pretty decent job with a collage here. Through here. You know, just to get better detail on that, you can see there. But, um, yeah, if anything, uh, it's not really symmetrical. I don't know if we can see it on camera, but uh, this side is definitely more brighter than this, uh, broader than this side. Oh, so back to what I was saying with the snap. If you follow me on Snap, uh, I, you could see what the like sketch version of this looked like and like my whole process with this. A lot of people on Snap were messaging me about how, oh, that's so cool. Uh, that's such a cool dragon. I had a coworker who <laughs> mentioned that to me one time, and a friend both messaged me on Snap when they saw this. And I can't say that they're wrong. It definitely, I don't blame them when they say it looks like a dragon because it definitely does. I was going for a dinosaur hybrid, as you can see, obviously, at the beginning of the video. But I, I mean, you could definitely call it a dragon if you want to. It totally looks like one. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful good evening, good night, good morning, wherever you guys are. Uh, I definitely want to post some more in the future, so if you guys have anything you want to see from me, put it down below. I read every comment even though I might not respond to every comment uh, I definitely love it when you guys comment if, if it's something shitty but um I love it when you guys post feedback especially in my review videos uh, I love just like sharing knowledge with the community uh, what else yeah if you guys have anything you want to say to me uh, you can message me on snap uh, Insta, Twitter, uh, they'll all be down below. I don't use, really use my Twitter for anything involving art. It's usually just personal, but I put it down there just in case you guys want to like look at it or see it. I mostly use Snap when it comes to my art-related things or, or my Instagram. I post a lot of my things on Instagram. I haven't posted this on Instagram yet, but when I do, it definitely will be up before this video. So if you're watching this, go ahead and head over to my Instagram so you can see like a better picture of this. Um, so yeah tell me if you guys like these uh kind of like project videos more this was kind of me testing the waters you know hands-on like an art thing not anything digital or like just a drawing so so this is me i hope no what how should i end this video um so guys i'll see you later goodbye what's up you guys today we're going to be talking about the fine tech metallic gold watercolors so these are mainly used for calligraphy slash letter.